Hey friends, welcome to the Stationery Cafe, your podcast for everything stationery, journaling, and planning related. This is April from Penguins Creative, and we have Kelly from Kelly Love Letters here with me today. We're going to talk about living the analog life and fun things in the community. So join us with a drink, and let's chat about what's new in the stationery world. Hey Kelly, how's it going? <laughs> oh, it's good. How are you doing? <laughs> this is the new and revamped happy hour, <laughs> but it's kind of it's it feels so good. <laughs> happy hour turned official, I would say. <laughs> yes, I always wondered why we weren't official episodes. <laughs> I've always thought about that myself. <laughs> I was like, I should have just made it official at the beginning, and then I didn't have to worry about this weird transition anymore well, <laughs> but yeah it, hey it, it was just kind of here we're just rolling with it so like we yes. said in the last episode uh where we did the techo kaigi with phyllis this is now officially season two a new season of the stationery cafe mm. and i forgot Thank to tell man. everyone when we'll be releasing <laughs> so <laughs> you will hear us every other week on wednesdays where we used to publish our happy hour Yay. episodes. And this one's coming out close to Halloween. Yay! <laughs> Ke- Kelly's favorite season, the one April can't wait to get over with. Um. <laughs> I literally got a tattoo, guys. I, I'm... <laughs> It's, I don't know if we're showing video for this one, but here she is. Oh my goodness, that pumpkin. <laughs> the pumpkin and the kitty, and yeah. I'm getting it colored in on the 27th, actually. So. Oh, wow. You're going to have excited. it all ready for Halloween. Oh, actually, no, it's still going to yes. be like taped and stuff, though, right? Yeah, it probably still will have tape on it, but I'll still be cool. <laughs> <laughs> in spirit. Well, for, yeah. for the theme, I am drinking apple cider in this cute oh, little... Man purple mug i know i'm drinking cold is that drinks. from moody yes i was about oh, to I say i can tell it's, it's so mo- beautiful it's a moody original our friend moody m-o-u-d-h-i on instagram and so i'm sipping she is so awesome i'm sipping cold apple cider from it. <laughs> oh man okay i see how it is i i just have my water bottle because i did not prepare my tea okay can i say what i was doing though i I would have thought you would have brought that black cauldron mug that you sometimes my mom talk broke about. it no but it's okay i literally got it from fred meyer so it was not like a, a big deal okay like i can easily get another one of those okay um but you guys i i probably shouldn't talk about this but i'm going to because okay um so you know the the diamine ink vent calendar <laughs> for 2022. We know. <laughs> yeah. So they they are a lot of retailers probably are receiving them, and mm-hmm. I believe the sell date is October 21st. Mm-hmm. Don't quote me on that for surezies, but mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure that's what it's supposed to be. Mm-hmm. So because I I have a duty um, to my customers, your job to it's it's my job. I have to do it. <laughs> so <laughs> I okay. I literally took roughly one hour just now, and I literally swatched all of them. Wait, I thought you were wait. <laughs> Aren't I was going to wait till me? after, but I got home so soon. <laughs> Well, you're showing it to me, right? Because that's the one oh, thing yeah. I don't mind spoilers of. But of course, the listeners, a lot of them dislike spoilers. But I feel like oh we yeah, and of... you guys can come at me like yeah. I, <laughs> I just know that there's the two types of people, and I'm the type that wants to open it all right now and see everything. <laughs> But then there's the type of customer that literally wants to be surprised. They don't, they don't want it. to even come near the like, display, what's right? That like, right? Because you you <laughs> yeah. have that ink at the back, like the samples where you cover it at the back yeah. of the thing, and like some customers would probably be like like put that far far away from me. I don't even want to know the names of the things. Exactly. Right? <laughs> yeah. So, but the the names have already been released on like Diamond's official I mean, site. So that people still try to not read them. <laughs> I <so>. know. <laughs> but I'm telling you I read so them. <laughs> I'm yeah. I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and segue into the new items thing because okay. there's an ink in here that would go perfectly. Hey, that's a new- spoiler. 
And no, it's not. I it's... feel like it's a spoiler. That's, that's not, Kelly. Let's change oh. yourself and not ruin our comeback season with like a immediate spoiler at the very beginning. Okay, fine. Um, <laughs> I will just unrelatedly talk about the Twisby Eco. <laughs> Um, okay, so we're 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 at a Christmas. We're back to Halloween. We're doing a Jack Skellington right now. So, <laughs> so on October thirty first, the Twisby Eco, I believe it's called Glow Purple, Ooh. is releasing. I just put the order in for oblation today, and I'm really excited. So, um, it like it's like a lavender purple, but it glows this blue, ghostly mm-hmm. blue color. Are yeah. you gonna get one, or is it? too much for you all right so my my opinion on this i feel like hasn't been public because of our hiatus but i'm i'm not big a i'm not that big of a glow in the dark fan so it's although okay it's, to be wrong although it's cool like <laughs> i i pointed it out in our little chat this morning that hey the the glow green and the glow purple actually is like the perfect frankensteiny color combo for halloween <laughs> And my, my only question is, why isn't it, like, available before Halloween so people could, like, wave it like a wand, wand you, like, during Halloween, you know? Like, all the pen memes Because would be Twisby is very weird about release dates. That's all, <laughs> that's all I'll say. I feel like it's a miss, a complete miss opportunity. And well, no, because you, if you are local to a pen store, you, <laughs> like a place, then get it you can at go the buy. Day, but you don't have time to prep for that cool outfit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah right? You're right. You're I right. can totally see people doing that dance now. You know that glow in the dark with the glow. <laughs> yes. The, the the wand, the glow glow wands, and then they like do those robot. Dance. I'm doing a very yes. bad version of that dance right now on video. <laughs> By the way. A <laughs> uh, happy hour or station cafe now. Like if we are presentable, we'll be on YouTube. So <laughs> we're gonna. She made sure I would be presentable today. I did. <laughs> <laughs> so I just think it's a missed opportunity that they don't like give people a chance to prep for it, and their their promo photo is a little boring. Mm-hmm. I mean, I guess the glow thing does look cool. They're trying to do the dark and white contrast, but I really liked. Pen Realms Instagram post of the glow in the darkest. <laughs> Did he it's, do one? Now I need to go have, see. You have to check it out. It's this. I'm so sorry, Craig. It's this super gaudy, like dad, <laughs> like image of like a pumpkin and like your your Dude. high school Halloween movie poster, like on a bulletin board. Like that tells oh. parents to come and it pick up your so kid. Good. <laughs> right? It's so true. It's so Kirk, cheesy. I love you. It's I so love you cheesy. just the way you are. And I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Apologies again. But we love no, you, Kirk. No, it looks so good. And I love the effort you make into promoting <laughs> these pens. Because I think a while ago, he did the October fest pen and he did <laughs> like that one super beer like again very cheesy like promo image for but, it but it catches your eye you it know does, it's better than like twisbees which is just way. <laughs> like nothing yeah i love it oh man so yeah so so you're not gonna i mean you're kind of on a um you're kind of on a low buy yourself right now. I literally just sold so many of my old ecos, um, I know. even my special one. I think I'm just waiting for the right color to come along and um, been like tapping my feet. You mean like the like, glow purple? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> a nice matcha or olive green would be completely up my alley. Oh. So I just don't know why. Yeah, why don't they do yet. that? Right? That's ridiculous. Come on, Twisby. I mean, the, the glow in the dark original, the green one, mm-hmm. is a nice green. Like, it's like that kind of like, it's not super translucent, but it's just kind of like like cloudy green. I like that, but it's still not that matcha green that I like. So, <laughs> yeah. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah. It's fine. It's fine. The is <laughs> not for me right now. <laughs> I have a lot of other plans to look forward to. So, um, like the oh, I wanted to talk about it, but it's not on our list. But the cool thing is that now we're no longer in the happy hour format. We can talk about literally everything. So, I am yeah. looking forward to that Bennu pen. Maybe we can talk about it in the next episode. We both want a Bennu pen. 
Oh, I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> yes. I love the ice caramel latte and you love We're, the Oreo. I think it's Oreo milkshake. Cookies and, you, cookies and creams, I think. If you guys haven't been to Goulet's uh, website, they're doing a collab with Bennu with three pens. Iced, I believe, yeah, you're right. Ice caramel latte, Oreo milkshake, and then like rainbow slushy or something. Something along those lines. Something and like that. They, yeah, the promo photos are awesome. The, they have our names on it. I mean, Kelly even uh, showed off her Oreo bag. That my one Oreo pouch episode on Happy Hour. So <laughs> I, I like, yeah, it's meant to be, and I, I just love how heaven. they captured um, that ice caramel latte vibe to it from the foam to the gradient some there's some sprinkleish of <laughs> goat flex in there that i'm a little bit confused about but it doesn't matter because that because that milky caramel latte color is so good <laughs> yes so um i'm looking forward to those pens instead <laughs> uh okay my turn right i want to talk about some yeah. new items i i've been like yeah, saving have- these and I've just been like you submitting You put a bunch it. in there and I was like, oh, I only had one. Oops. <laughs> I was submitting them to Kelly in our group chat just to like, I bank this idea. I want to talk about these. Uh, while we were gone, lots of fun, new, cheaper uh, pens have. Oh, yeah. Released. This cute one. The first one's the most exciting one and has really kind of created a ripple in Japan. Is made by Sunstar. The dot e pen they literally draw s- square dots you know how there's like the <laughs> um the zig, the zig clean color dot clean color dot that we stuff. all know and love let's let's make it square and make it cool and brings us back to the y2k you know the pixel image yes. lifestyle and so 16 new colors and these are dual sided so one side is literally like a square head um I don't know mm-hmm. if it's like foam or like they're they're I don't know the material yet, but it could I'm assuming it's felt. It could cleanly stamp a nice square colored square on your page. And if you use different colors, you can make fun pixel art. But if you want to be yes. basic, you can use it as like bullet journaling, you know, like mm-hmm. like a little square for you to tick off or stamp in that says like you did it. So it's the same purpose as the round dots, I guess, but square <laughs> and but the, like mm-hmm. sorry what were you gonna say and the other side is a, a thin fine tip so yes the fine sided. liner yeah so the really cool thing about these is in their like on the official website they have the uh like just little examples of different pixel art that you mm-hmm. can do with them. Yes. And I'm like, oh my god, that would be so fun to like do Pokemon <laughs> with <laughs> Yes, the, like the Pokemon first, sprites, first gen kind of kind of pixelized style. Pokemon. Yes, that's where my mind went immediately with this. I'm and sure. It's... I'm sure some people out there is doing it right now. Like, yeah, because it's released, right? I'm just I'm just in awe that they did like 16 colors to begin with. Like it's like not even like a sample product. It's like let's just give it our all rainbow color. Yeah, all it's all the, it's the whole rainbow. But you can get them also in sets of four, which is nice because it kind of gives you a good like kind of base to create basic images with. I feel like so you can do that. And I don't know if I'm gonna pick one up just because it's so interesting and like I might choose a basic color <laughs> to begin with like a green and like a, a beigey color or maybe a, a pink something like that mm-hmm. but cool new product i just hope it works well because i've definitely seen pen products that does like these kind of like big stamping shapes i feel like there must have been some in the past that does like star shapes triangle shapes heart mm-hmm. shapes you know and what Dude, you always that just get brought me back i know right it is <laughs> kind of nostalgic um but the the downside of those pen is always the ink kind of like you know collects to Mm -hmm. a pool on the impression and i think the dot liner fixed it by making it not like flat but like round right the felt tip so i but this one looks flat 
Like this one yes. has a flat tip. So I'm worried that it's yeah. going to be that way. So I just I just want someone to try it out first. <laughs> yes. <laughs> or let me well, try it there, out first. <laughs> before the Zig Clean Color Dot came out, they, I believe it was Tombow came out with that flat circle. Mm-hmm. They and I was they super were... stoked. And, I know. And then I was like, oh. <laughs> it just keeps creating circles with like a darker pool of color yes, inside. It's so annoying. <laughs> I know. Oh. And then but okay, really quick. <laughs> like, do y'all who grew up in the States remember those? I believe it was Crayola branded uh, markers that were stamps, mm-hmm. but they just had like this, the different stamp head. I remember them because my teachers would use them to like stamp off your homework sometimes and like there's like the lips or the music notes or like stars just kind of fun shapes i that just that makes me remember crayola (laughs) i think we have something like that in asia too but like it's too far it was probably better quality (laughs) (laughs) anyway i just want to quickly mention two other new pens that are like in my radar and so while we were gone, I'm going to start with the Uniball Signal are, one first. The Uniball are we, Signal one. Are we surprised about this? <laughs> April loves Uniball. April loves Uni Mitsubishi. And so my favorite pen has always been the Uniball Signal DX. But while we were in the hiatus, there is an announcement to retailers that they're like discontinuing like 22 colors of the Uniball Signal DX. And so I was like panicking and mm-hmm. I was just like, no, my favorite pen. But thank goodness my the black one is still going to be very much alive, I think, because that's probably the most basic kind. And then that oh, led me to, get rid of that. to this like rabbit hole. It's like, okay, what's a cool <laughs> pen that uses the signal like kind of refill? And I think uh, there's like this sister, like kind of in that series, there's this one that's called Uniball Signal RT1. I think it uses a refill similar to the one that's in the DX, but not exactly the same because it's a clicky mechanism. So the Signal RT1, it's like the jet stream, but the gel pen. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's a clicky pen, but it has that nice gel consistency that the Signal DX has. And it comes out in boring colors as of now in the US, (laughs) black only. And I think there is like a rainbow array, but in like the very like basic, you know, your solid red to solid like purple, like kind of like the rainbow solid colors. Mm -hmm. But do you recall, this is a very intricate conversation now. Do you recall when we talked about the Uniball 1 F, where, where it came out with like these cool, like colored bodies that's like very muted looks like yes. bamboo so it was the kind of like superior version to the uniball one which had the white <laughs> barrel and so they came out with this like cool kind of lineup of like muted sophisticated color and so they have yes. taken that entire series and imposed it onto the uniball signal rt1 and I think this is an Asian release, like Asia released only, because I don't see mm. it on the Japan side, but it's announced officially on the Taiwan Uni Mitsubishi site. And I'm all for it. Like, I love that green one, the Uniball 1F green. Yeah, of course you do. Which I lost <laughs> at the San Francisco Pen Show, and I immediately oh. repurchased as soon as I realized it was lost. <laughs> so. April. So now I can get the Uniball RT1 version of it <laughs> too and have a, have fun clicking it and having that nice green color. Uh, yeah, that's I really man. like that muted pink one. I know. That's the, that's of the, course. <laughs> it's the, I, I don't know how to say that kanji in like English. I don't either. But it's, it's just that <laughs> very pale pink blossom one. So it's very nice. And then there's like that you know that kind of beigey yellow one a nicer red yeah. and this gorgeous purple but a simple six color mutant lineup lovely it's good i just need to know it's how to lovely get it. i agree <laughs> I, I hope i hope my sister can just help me poke my her head into one of the local stationery stores in taiwan and help me pick it up and so um, cause I don't think this is a Japan release. So I don't know if the retailers here in the U S are going to get it or not. So there's that. And finally, let me 
Look, this one. Let me talk、mm. about Uniball One one more time. Like this is literally April's actual agenda to this to bringing the podcast back. She just wanted to talk about Uniball One again. I do, I do. <laughs> that's that's the entire reason why I wanted to bring back the podcast. Like to be fair, these the names on these are so good. They are amazing. So this is leaked. Okay, this image is leaked, and it's like shared in the Taiwanese stationery forum. And since it's public knowledge now, I don't feel bad talking about it. It's coming to us soon. Uniball、yeah. One has a new color lineup coming to us soon. <laughs> the white body, you know, nice accent color on the very clicky、uh, tip part. It's called the Fika series. Who else had the Fika hey, series? Hey, wait! Didn't didn't Sailor do the Fika series <laughs> last year? Yes, they did. Much more expensive pens. <laughs> I know these are much more affordable, but I think they're taking Fika in like a different direction. They're really going for that like pastelly, muted, soft, gentle colors of the plates and like the way the the ceramic ware that is used when you're having a nice afternoon tea. So all these colors are like super gentle. There's this kind of like beigey green, beigey beige, beigey red, beigey gray,、mm -hmm. beigey yellow, beigey blue, beigey violet. I think.、Um, did you see the name? The name of the green is avocado. <laughs> I did. I did, <laughs> and I love it. <laughs> and the brown is cappuccino. I know. I, know. I okay. Cappuccino's fika, kind of、uh, mm -hmm. like a. Avocado is a fika, and the, okay, let's look at the other one. Well, yeah, poppy red. Poppy、um, red. That's kind of boring. Sesame gray. <gasps> oh, that's very like Japanese.、Um, oh, mango orange. Mango orange is a cute color. And、Ooh. nemo, what is nemofita? What does that mean? Nemofila blue. I don't know. I have no idea. And then what's the last one? It's plum purple. Plum purple. Anyway, a, a set of seven, <laughs> and they're they're gonna come in like this like huge box set if you want to buy that one. Oh, and it's a cute little box set. That I like that. the The box set is gonna be limited, but it looks of like course from it this is. from this DM <laughs> though. It looks like these seven colors are gonna be part of the permanent lineup. Yes. Even I'm excited about this one. You gotta love those Fika names. I know, and like that muted color, it's gonna be like perfect for people with like those gentle, minimalistic aesthetic. Like it's it's the perfect、yeah. pen for you guys. So they're, I, they're I think very Lexi. This is gonna be released like around <laughs> November, I believe. So,、um, and the reason、nice. probably why it's leaked because I see that the the date to order is like September. So probably some retailers leaked it anyway. Oh, I'm excited. Bad retailers. <laughs> <laughs> We're supposed to keep it quiet. <laughs> Probably in Asia, because this is leaked from like a a Chinese <laughs> kind of forum site. But anyway, people in Taiwan's talking about it, so I'm talking about it.、Um, yeah. So that kind of concludes our little first section of new items, and this next section is not unlike our old version. We're going to talk about our own items. And、um, guess who didn't. Think about it ahead of time. It was of me,、course. but of course, <laughs> I have it. I have、okay. it with me. All right, it's a little bit too on the nose, and we kind of talked about it already. But I really want to talk about it again, okay? Because it's been a while. All right. <laughs> but, hey, not, you were just judging me about the Uniball <laughs> one. <laughs> but no, okay, you guys. Seriously, my glass dip pen from Bungu Box. Like, are you loving it? Like, can you see you? Can you see this little like sphere thing in the middle of the section of it? It's our, like our listeners can't see it, but you described <laughs> it pretty well. Yeah, that section right near the the writing, the tip part.、There's、yeah, like, like a... the grippy part、mm -hmm. is has this like it looks like a suspended little magical sparkly sphere like、ah, within the glass pen. That's very Halloweeny. <laughs> I, yeah, it's. I mean, this one is Cinderella's glass slip slipper,、mm -hmm. <laughs> but whatever. <laughs>、um, not only is this pen very beautiful, but I've realized 
after swatching 25 inks today <laughs> that the, the reason why I like this is because like of course now I can't find the okay because I have a little um a little cloth to wipe the pen off with mm -hmm. in between inks of course so you know I write with it and then I rinse it off in my little water cup and then I dry the pen off right right um so this little nib is not as easy to break off <laughs> as ones that I've had in the past <laughs> so like I just I really appreciate the beautiful craftsmanship of this pen and obviously you get what you pay for because this was expensive <laughs> I but um I it's not expensive for no reason mm. I think is important to note you know like because some pens are uh, you know we can't lie about that like hi Visconti um <laughs> <laughs> but, but like this is really truly I don't know I really wish we could carry Japanese glass pens at work but like they're so hard to get a hold of <laughs> So that was a uh, Bungu Box collaboration with Synchronicity Glass in right. Japan. Yes. And remember when I first got one of their glass pens? It was also from Bungu Box, also yeah. by Synchronicity. You got the double sided. Double sided sweet potato, still going strong <laughs> even now. Yes. And like, I remember when I was reading about, like when I was thinking about buying it, they said something about the glass being extra durable. So yeah, I don't it is. know if that <laughs> is like, I, I feel like that reassures me a little bit <laughs> about yeah. owning a glass pen. And I've been putting my morning glory, the one I also got at the San Francisco pen show through some work lately too, because I'm going to talk about that in that next segment. Yeah. But it has not been like it. I literally kind of accidentally like kind of clink it against my glass mm, kind of water mm -hmm. thing a few times. And it's been very forgiving. Like I, it has yeah. not break. And it was was yours like kind of, kind of like an F nib. Like I feel like my morning glory. I think was, ours are the same nib. Which I yeah. appreciate because my sweet potato, the thinner it's end, really thick. was really <laughs> no no no. There's really thick side, and then the very fine side is like extra oh. fine. So I've been a little bit more hesitant to use that side. It felt oh, much more. Oh, I see. But this Morning Glory one and the one you have probably is like an yeah. F nib, and I've just been enjoying using it as it's, well. It's just so, and I, after it's dried off, I put it back in its little box and in its little foam, and I'm. <laughs> oh, you put it back in the foam? Okay, yeah, put, well, put it on the tray that I sent you. Because I've been just kind of <gasps> sliding it back into the tray, and it's like the perfect cushion, and I don't have to deal <gasps> with the foam. Oh, Does it yeah, break? I, feel, I feel like the foam is kind of cheesy. So, yeah. oh, that's a good idea. You should do that. That's how all my sailors are in there. <laughs> <laughs> put it in like the safest <laughs> corner or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> I, I should put, yeah. Maybe I just put it in my pen tray that I got from our friend uh, in the Philippines. So it's it's been super useful. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, the pen tray. It's been awesome. I, mm -hmm. <laughs> I think it's funny that because... Um, April was like, I want to mail it to you because we just keep missing each other with this pen tray thing. And I'm like, you know, you could like drive it to my brother's, but he lives in South Seattle. She's like, no, I'm just going to mail it. I'm just going to pop it in the mailbox. I'm not going like, to. Because driving to South Seattle sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Kyle. He's not going to listen to this anyway. <laughs> it's fine. I I don't like driving down there if I don't have but, to. <laughs> seriously, I, I think it's worth the price of shipping to not drive down there. <laughs> yeah, the I-5 is the worst. Especially it's so weekends. bad. It's, it's so inconvenient. Yeah. It's I like only, an ordeal. I only do it when I take cookie to grooming and I don't go even as far as rent and I just go down to Federal Way. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yep. Um, cool. And so... My turn. My I want yes. to talk about something cool that I recently just bought. Uh, I yeah, is this new? It's it's pretty new. Like I'm I've I've been intentionally off the radar with Taiwanese releases. Yeah, you have because <laughs> I did so much damage during the Creative Expo. Uh, in was that in July or August? In August, and I like I I'm afraid to keep looking. 
So when I just was casually browsing Yoseka's website, as one does when they're bored, um, I discovered <laughs> <laughs> this really neat item. So it's by some sort of fern, a Taiwanese designer that makes stationary goods. Like they make tapes, stamps, all that stuff. And they really usually have make like really cool themes. And they've been doing this like light and shadow one lately. So this one kind of came at me like blindsided like i didn't know they have this theme it's called it's shower time in this little holographic <laughs> box it's like reflecting and that holographic screen. box looks like the inside of my pen <laughs> <laughs> and it comes with a set of five wooden stamps in the theme of a shower so i don't know people who know me more closely like I joke about it I love taking bath I love sh taking showers um, and I listen to podcasts while I'm showering I I use shower as an escape like you know when you're worried about something or when you're feeling annoyed sometimes a shower just really like rinses away everything like I feel like a lot of people would relate to that so when I saw this and that's I was what like, one of those stamps says basically yes it says <laughs> one of the one has like a letter that says why not take a shower it'll wash away all your troubles and that is like I can immediately do that today because just before recording I took a nice hot shower felt so nice. good um, but I just wanted to kind of describe like the other stamps in there. So there's one obviously of a shower head that is like very, mm -hmm. well, like a, it's rain, very cute. a rainfall, <laughs> even like a rainfall shower head too. So that was pretty cool. There's like this plant thing, you know, in the fancier <laughs> bathrooms. I don't know at hotels, maybe they have like Monstera plants <laughs> there. Maybe, maybe it could also be like used as a stamp to remind you to shower your plants. Like, right. like give them water maybe yeah uh, and then there's this like really tiny tiny stamp right in the middle that looks like a ripple or maybe looks like the drain mm. when water i was goes gonna down. say is that the drain i know i was at first i was like oh cute mm. water rippling and then I was like wait maybe this is the drain <laughs> oh, that's so interesting it's like a it's very a, small rectangle it's a very very small stamp i don't know how i would use this little piece but <laughs> probably just an accent and then there's this like tile one that perplexed yeah. me at first and then i realized wait this is like the traditional taiwanese bathroom tiles oh is it really you know like when like the old school houses i don't yeah. know some people's houses here too probably has tiles in your bathroom but definitely in asia i mean growing up in thailand i we have bathroom that just has like old school tiles as the wall that's cool. And then it's kind of like you would look at the pattern on the tile as you're showering. So it's just, yeah. I think that's what it is. Like, I, 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 I don't know. I might have to go scrape his in, their Instagram to see what exactly is the design is ethos behind this. But <laughs> I just thought it's kind of cool. I mean, their design was very focused on like old school Taiwanese window designs and like walls and all that stuff so I think this is bathroom tiles <laughs> I think <laughs> so so I why have I never heard of this brand before because it's on Yoseka's website but like I've never my, my my jaw was like open like what you've never heard of this before Kelly? <laughs> no I'm like <laughs> what why you're so you're so slow poke <laughs> i'm all, like seriously can someone please make like an actual meme of slow poke like the slow poke kelly like <laughs> hey guys ch did you hear about this new release like yes kelly we've been talking about it all morning <laughs> <laughs> or, or it was so last year <laughs> yeah, exactly yeah yeah you would be pleased to know if this is your first time hearing about some sort of fern and probably some listeners would be too they do a lot Thank of cute guys a lot of cute cat <laughs> pet yeah, they do mm -hmm. okay but yoseka doesn't have those probably. where do you find you have, that you have to look uh, but like i didn't look maybe try searching the name but they have like this whole row pt that's just cat cats like stretched cute. out in different positions oh. cat paws all that stuff very cute Oh, they have it on uh, pinkyelephant.com. Mm. That's a deadly site that I have not <laughs> I've not ordered from them yet. But I've also I've... been trying to not start that first order. <laughs> yeah. At Pinky Aww. Elephants. 
Oh no! I, I I did it. I broke at this gym. Um, you know, another deadly sight. You know, <laughs> since I feel like you know, aside from our usuals, there's starting to be a little bit more variety options oh, now I've... to get cute like Taiwanese, Malaysian, Philippine stationery brands. So I think I've seen these cat PEC mm-hmm. tip tape. No, I can't talk. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've seen these. Oh, right. they're so cute. Sorry. Okay, I'll, I'll stop screaming. <laughs> People are just listening. I mean, like, Kelly, that is like so 2021. <laughs> anyway. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not in the loop. All right. And then, and then this next section is kind of new. Something it used to be what's in our shopping cart. And we decided to eliminate that because it's a little unhealthy. I like, I like that. I appreciate that. And it's it's an opportunity for me right now to talk about my journal insert. Mm-hmm. Um, We're gonna pivot to whatever topic we want for the week. <laughs> yeah, which I really like that. Um, so I've been using this chonky boy. Look at that thickness. Oh. Um, I like to do this thing when I use a traveler's notebook insert where I take part of the zero one three, which is the Tomoe River. Actually, now I'm not sure. Uh, they're probably going to replace that with Sanzen at some point. Probably, yeah. <laughs> um, but right now, as far as I can tell, it's it's the OG stuff. So I like to put that in and then also put in the original like 003 blank white paper and just mm-hmm. kind of make my own hybrid insert because Ooh. why not? Oh, I see. You take it apart and then you like remix them. Yeah, yeah. like put it back together because I just like to do that with things. TM um, remix. <laughs> Remixed. <laughs> so like, I don't know what's some good. Like, just, you know, my usual. filling that Travers notebook out. That's really nice. Yeah. And like, this was a cool thing from something in D.C. I went to um, George Washington's the, the map, estate. Of course, but, you got to do the fold then, out map. That's like a staple. And then there's like the little photos on I, on the other side ah, nice. of me and my friends. And when I went to that cat cafe and it was so cute. Oh, so many <laughs> cute photos. Um, And I've really been just enjoying this a lot you've had a busy summer yeah like we did i'm surprised it's all in one insert that's it (laughs) yeah so it was it was it started in dc for me two weeks and then this has the sf show stuff and then you know there's like stuff from more recently part of our little stationary meetup Yes, and in then Portland. This, nice. This was a little hangout at my new place. Aww. Um, I don't know. It's it's really taken me through. Um, like it's just kind of crazy to think about even the last three months and how so much has happened in that time. And that's why we journal, right? To like remember remember all the fun times and. And it it's kind of kind of makes me sad to like be ending this insert, but then I get to start Aww. a new one. The end. It's the end of the twenty twenty two summer insert. Yeah, and the right. beginning hey. of a spooky fall one. Actually, that's a n- nice so chance excited. for you to deck it all out with like fall stickers. Oh, right? and you you bet I've been doing that every chance I get. <laughs> I, again, I'm I'm just surprised you fit so much into one insert because for me, just that weekend at Portland and like a few days of my staycation up in Seattle filled almost two thirds of one insert. And so I'm starting well, a new one again very soon. This also yeah. has like the thinner paper. So I feel like it holds. Oh, that makes sense. Holds yeah, because the, the lightweight paper think. has more pages. But still. <laughs> And some of it I just like kind of like this I did yesterday. I was just kind of messing around and Mm. (laughs) like there's not much writing in here, but it's just like here's some cute crap. (laughs) I'm thinking back. I think so far this year I've made four, uh, so three full regular size inserts. I filled it because starting with my Taiwan trip. So I filled oh, two, yeah. two of my, let's go, the California coast re- mm. refills. They're both like the 
the MD paper, so it's really nice. And then there's I filled one that was the Ace Hotel one. So I filled three regular, and I filled one of my hacked traveler's notebook. You know, I cut one to square size, right? So I filled. Yes, I filled that's crazy. <laughs> The square size one with the San Francisco pen show shenanigans.、Mm. So I, technically, if you count even the ones before those three, I probably have used up almost five to six refills so far this year. That's a lot. It's a I've never used it so much. Like I don't think I've used that much last year. So I'm really really pleased with myself. Like I'm embracing the TN life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and I like before I was in this insert, I was filling out. I I really liked journaling in the passport size, but then I was like, no, I'm gonna do standard size. And I've actually prepped a December daily insert for December. So、oh, you're doing December daily. <laughs> a, oh, we'll a passport. Get to that. It's、we'll、super low key.、I'm, All right.、Okay. It'll be the, my first time actually trying it. <laughs> <laughs> we can we can get to that in like a later episode.、Um, yeah. <laughs> Our plans for the holidays, and what we plan to do with our journals. Ooh, I mean, crazy. Ooh, the the ceremonies, right? Of like、mm-hmm. transitioning. That wait, Kelly already did it last month, so maybe. <laughs> oh hey. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, okay. For me, I've been using、uh, my Traveler's Notebook, my plotters, but one book I've been neglecting in my lineup has been the Plotter Mini Size. And I think that was a size you struggled with, and you end up selling, right? <laughs> yes, the the mini six, the mini six, yeah, the mini six ring. And I found myself in a similar situation、uh, at the beginning of this year, all the way till like before I went back to Taiwan. This has been my like media journal, so you know, K drama, movie shows I'm watching, that kind of stuff. But I recently went to a meetup with our friends in Seattle, and a friend converted her. I think Bible size or maybe mini size plotter into a ink swatch book, and、mm. it was just like in my head something just like switched, and I was like, "This is gonna be my ink swatch book,"、yes. because first of all, I just love how plotter paper, the DP paper, shows ink. Ooh, it's really good.、Yeah. It's like Tomoe River paper, but I think it's a little bit like. You know how like TRP is great for ink for chroma shading and sheen because the ink sits on the paper. So I think、mm-hmm. they do that a little bit with plotter. But if you have a wetter ink,、oh, here the crinkle. Oh, of, I love the crinkle of the plotter paper <laughs> with wetter paper, wetter ink. They do still sink and feather a little bit more. So it's not、mm-hmm. as good as TRP, but it does pretty well with a lot of other ones. And so I've been just like swatching inks. I've been Filling them like kind of like how you do it, where you like do a big swab and then little short squiggles, and then you write the name underneath. Oh like, yeah. Instead, instead、oh, of trying、fun. to be neat, I'm just like I'm just gonna have fun with it. And you know the cool thing is this thing is movable, right? So I can. Oh like, yeah. I can continue to add stuff into it. I feel like I've been always been wanting to do something like that since I saw your swatch book, which was in the TRP zero thirteen. Yes. Regular refill, but you know I never committed because I was like, what if I have more green inks coming? <laughs> right. Yeah.、Like, I'm kind of I... running into that right now. <laughs> I'm actually, I really want to use my、um, my Bible size plotter. <gasps> that would、um, be perfect. Because I bought that panel, which is what you had there, right? No, this is actually、no. the mini size doesn't have the panel, so this is、uh, just a two milliliter、oh. refill. So oh, any、okay. any refill really, and you、But、know I have I, the panel. <laughs> the I Bible, felt like、so. if I run out of space, I, which I don't think I will, because this you know a plotter houses eighty pages, and on each page I could do like up to three inks. So there's no way I have two hundred forty bottles of inks. I just acquired twenty five more. I'm gonna just keep bringing it up. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I was like, if I run out, I'll just put it into the refill binder.、Um, oh yeah, the little cool refill storage thing. I finally bought one for the mini size. It's really so, cute. So I can like archive, maybe have a section that's just like the the ink samples I've got and swatches、yeah. of those. Oh, that's a good idea. And then a section that's just like the bottles. Um, but anyway, I've been I've been enjoying it, and that's why I said I was also using my Morning Glory 
uh, glass pens to swatch. April, I have to interrupt you for a second. Are you wearing a Celeste from Animal Crossing shirt right now? <laughs> I am. What this the is heck? A Uniqlo collaboration. Ah, how come you didn't get me one? <laughs> it's a cute dress type too. Oh so my it's like god! A, I a love cozy it so dress much. Shirt. When oh. I got it, this was the last one, and they don't have a larger size. Or I would have immediately grabbed you. Oh, one I'm too, so bad. So. And I, you know, where I found this one because I bet they were like wiped out in the u.s when it was released mm -hmm. i found this in taiwan i uh, went to course. taiwan to a uniqlo <laughs> and it was in the sales section oh. like just like three like <laughs> s m l oh, so this is the so l good. it's so perfect but let me just gripe a little bit about sizing in uniqlo in taiwan <laughs> oh, l so size rude. in taiwan <laughs> is basically m size here like there's yep. nothing larger than an l in taiwan i i hate that so much and it's so like uh. <laughs> yeah yeah that was one of my things living anyway. in japan <laughs> i'm right. like buying clothes kind of sucks <laughs> i was like picking up all the xl size pants where <laughs> yes in taiwan so anyway that that was that's that's celeste but I, it's I really so like good this. she's so I, cute okay I, anyway sorry i interrupted you <laughs> i thought i dressed for halloween i i can only handle cute halloween so <laughs> yes that's fine <laughs> so I'm really excited about my mini journey uh, into the ink swatching world because I, I had the coloring, but I don't like how the ink sinks into coloring. I don't either. It's too thick. That's that's like to me, coloring is mixed media paper and it's, mm -hmm. it's for painting and sketching. <laughs> right. Like that paper doesn't show me the ink properties that I like to see. So yeah, like it sort of does, but it's it's like not. It doesn't hit the, yeah. you know what I mean. You have to kind of <laughs> fake it by like dropping some water onto it to like yeah. make it desaturated. So yeah. that's kind of how people have been potentially doing it. And it's a little bulky, to be honest, the coloring. So it's just like kind of sitting there a little bulky. Um, so I haven't been updating that. And I was too lazy to cut up Tomori River paper into any sizes worth yeah. swatching it's kind of I, a lot of work i only have the a4 size thing and i don't want to put it in a bound system because what if i get more inks so plotter i like i don't know why it's just been sitting in front of me like for this entire year <laughs> and i just does not like occur to me that i could use this for that purpose yeah so i'm excited now i'm now that you've said that out loud i feel like i'm more motivated to make my Convert. To make it into my thing. Yeah. <laughs> and and plus, I'm kind of going through a phase where I'm de-stashing a lot of inks. You know how Eula yeah, were you like are. selling bottles a while yes. ago? Yes. So I was selling off a bunch of my ink samples, uh, samples for a ridiculously cheap price. I was selling them for $1 a sample. Oh, wow. Even my really rare like sailor mm. and like, you know, special ones. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Now that I think about it, like, why did I do that? But anyway, <laughs> you know, okay. my mom, my mom was watching your first stream and she was like, I think I watched April for like two hours. <laughs> I was like, mom. <laughs> no, that's kind of the purpose of the streams, though. <laughs> yeah. She was super into it. She was like, I kept thinking about claiming one for you, but I know you have enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. I probably like gave her most of those samples. <laughs> I was I was actually taking I was selling samples from my bottles. Right. So I I'm getting to like this is my version of downsizing cuz you know now I'm no longer sitting with 59 full bottles in yeah, the house. Yeah. That's a I'm, lot. I'm sitting with 59 <laughs> one third of a bottle now. Like yeah. after this stash and I feel immensely better about nice. myself and immensely happy and like open to buying more inks now <laughs> yay okay good <laughs> maybe that was the, maybe that was the ulterior motive so that so, i no longer feel guilty about buying more inks <laughs> so you're gonna get the ink vent then is what you're saying well it depends on what's in it so that's why i need to see it so after this episode yeah we, we're gonna have a little a little secret show and tell yep <laughs> sorry guys listening <laughs> 
I, it'll just, be revealed I'm soon the enough. kind I'm the kind if you watch a show with me some people know that about me if you watch a show or if you watch a movie with me the first 10 minutes in I'll be googling about the ending no on my, way on my phone rings okay, of power, I don't even do that rings of power season one episode one I was reading about the entire lore Dude. 20 minutes into the show and I was typing out who was Sauron so like <laughs> that, that is me <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Is it a good show? It's great. I really like it. Okay. I think I should probably watch it. My friends are watching it. You have to watch it. I feel like a lot of people are very like by heart um Tolkien fans and mm-hmm. feel like it's deviating, but as a person who never read the entire thing, like and not knowing the lore, I find it immensely uh entertaining to watch. Nice. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that I just remember the first um, Lord of the Rings movie more because I remember specifically seeing it when it came out with my brother. Aww. I must have been, I don't know, fourth grade-ish, something like that. And like, I remember like ordering one of those big sodas and then partway through the movie, I was like, I have to pee so bad, but this movie's so long, I can't just, <laughs> I have to stick it out. <laughs> Uh, well, this shows that you can watch it at home, so you don't have that problem anymore. Yeah, so. exactly. <laughs> Thank God for Netflix or whatever it's, like, it's on. It's like eight movies instead of, instead yeah. of just three. So I like oh, it. Oh, shit. Maybe I'll watch it. Anyway, last section of today's oh, yeah. episode. What are we talking about? Happy oh. Halloween, everyone. Yay. It's close to that time of the year. Thank goodness. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just waiting. I just want the the caramel apples and like the, the candies and and that's it. And I just recently watched the Great British Baking Show, their episode where they did Halloween baking, and I feel all fuzzy and cute Aww. inside. So let's not talk about too scary of a stationary stuff. Well, no. Right now we're talking about this. <laughs> I think I found, I must have found this either on the well-appointed desk or the pen addict blog, one of those two blogs. Um, There's this website called store.inkapet.com and there's ink hyphen a hyphen pet.com. And apparently this is like made from ideas from like this this couple's kid or something like this kid comes up with these I ideas i told you about this because did Tos- you coasty told me about this oh, shoot they 3d print these ink holders like ink vial holders right? but here's the thing though that yeah the ink vial hold the, the little sample holders but there's seasonal ones and they're really 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 cute <laughs> you can customize these yes. little ink holders so they originally look like little penguins little Little octopus, they call inktopus. Right. And, and but for Halloween, you can give them little witchy hats. The little hats and this little like pumpkin head and the little broom. Oh, the little <laughs> ghost kind of like the fabric thing over the penguins or the octopus. Yes. And I, I love there's also the the pilgrim the pilgrim's hat or something. Oh yeah, for Thanksgiving. <laughs> Yeah, it's just like immensely adorable, and I just thought we should talk about it. Um, apparently, we've already talked about it, so I feel bad. They also have no, the seasonal um, stuff is cool. I I don't think we've talked about the seasonal customizations. <laughs> they have a little sleeping cat pen rest too. Oh man! And it's ooh. anyway. So that's that's the kawaii ultra kawaii. I also just wanted to mention. Something that's sold out. <laughs> I just <laughs> sorry, <saw it>. guys. <laughs> um, but Everyday Explorers Co. has a stamp set called Fallen Winter Prompts, um, which I bought last year. Um, I don't think I even used the the winter ones, <laughs> but it's so good, isn't it? They're, like, they're really good. Yeah, prompts. there's like pick a pumpkin with a little pumpkin, like spooky stories fall favorites that kind of stuff and then we get into like turkey day all the sparkles and then we get into like christmasy like winter is here let it snow yeah they're very cute and i'm glad i have it already i'm i'm sure they're gonna get back in stock because it's that it's 
the time yeah. to do that right now. That time of the year. Um, my, do you still have that set I gifted you a while ago for your birthday? Yes, I, I do. Think, I, I think that was the best everything yeah. for a set. It's it was. It's, it's got like a little, even got like a little PSL, right? A pumpkin spice latte yes. icon on it. Like when I saw that that time, I was like, this is a Kelly stamp set. <laughs> the fall magic one. I know we've yeah. talked about it on the podcast before. Probably but... the, the earliest episodes. Yeah. Got a little like glass ball too, like a yeah. carol ball or something like that. The... <laughs> <laughs> just so, what do they call it? Don't they just call it a glass ball? A crystal Wait. ball. A crystal. crystal. <laughs> I know. I was like, what are we saying? I'm upset that you made me. You just <laughs> gaslit me. <laughs> tarot. Tarot ball. <laughs> oh my god, I'm leaving. Okay. Bubble tea tarot bye, ball. Bye, guys. It was nice being on this podcast. I'm going to go forever. And there's a little cute <laughs> cat head on that one, too. Yes. So for whoever managed to snag that one back then kudos for what yeah. i don't know but like it's a cute set <laughs> and then wait wasn't there some other stuff i had well it's mostly just random stuff from daiso i don't know i i have accumulated a lot of halloween goodies from japan over the years have you have you been to a daiso lately to to try to snag some halloween stuff dude how have i haven't been to daiso because i haven't been to seattle we don't have it here oh i forgot <laughs> about that <laughs> uh, so what do you what do you have from daiso right now i feel like so Show me. i i need to go check <laughs> because something really cute from daiso is releasing in asia so specifically oh, no. in Japan and Taiwan, people have seen the super kawaii collection of Daiso Halloween stationery. And apparently it was like sniped up when it released in early September. Wow. Um, one of our lucky friends, Tokubetsu Memory, Judy mm -hmm. from Tokubetsu Memory. She's based in Taiwan and she was able to grab a bunch. And they, they are not even like categorized specifically like like pure stationery, like leather sets or stickers or something. They're called like big decorations. Oh. So they're like huge cards that you can like kind of frame, I guess, or oh, put on a wow. wall. So it's like but a print. It's a collaboration with Waka, W-A-C-C-A -C -C underscore mm -hmm. N, Waka N. And it's these adorable little bears in like cute Halloween costumes. Click on that Mercari link. Oh, I was going to say, that's the one you were just showing me. Yes. I thought it was something you didn't tell me about yet. No. It's yeah, these really, are really cute. It's so adorable. So the first time I know about Waka, Waka mm. illustration. So I think sometimes she spelled it W-A-K-A. -A, sometimes she spelled it W-A-C-C-A. -A, but on Instagram, you, if you follow her, her account, it's like these adorable story-like illustration style fuzzy teddy bear vibe yeah did it with like a i think color pencil or watercolor style it kind of feels like retro in a way like 90s retro sorry that's <laughs> <laughs> but very like cute. like nostalgic childhood you know very very cute and it's like all these cute bears with cute pumpkins like i i'm down <laughs> to be part of this Halloween party. If, That's if, good. If it's this cute. Um, but I was saying the first time I know about this artist is when they did a collaboration with Sticky Kid, which unfortunately mm. has no longer in business, but she had commissioned uh, Waka to do like a sticker sheet of like, a cute illustration of this kind of like cat and like winter theme sort of thing. But anyway, I haven't I haven't seen her, this designer's, this illustrator's stuff out in a while. And so it was very nice to just kind of see it like, oh, it's on Daiso now. Her illustration commission yeah. made it to Daiso. And so they, you know, aside from the sticker flakes, the big wall decoration I just mentioned where it's like postcard style mm -hmm. prints, there's also like this flag garland where you know you can string it across yeah. the the your room and it's just little cards kind of dangling Cute. there's obviously washi tape and then some gift wrapping little baggies oh nice so i think the sad thing is cute stuff never makes it to the u.s fast enough it's true so i am like i feel like 20 percent there's a chance there we could have it 
I I don't want to lose hope, so I still want to see <laughs> if it's different there. But yeah. I remember one year I went in to try to get Halloween stuff and got laughed out by the by the staff because apparently huh? in the U.S. Halloween stationery is so popular, they sold out like a Whoa. month before Halloween. Dang. So, so there's <sighs> that. Um, but if you want some more realistic, creepy, spooky stuff. Um, I personally know of someone who sent me a cute Halloween card from Oblation. Oh, who was that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the one you sent me is not that spooky, but it's part of the collection. You know, if you go to uh, Oblation, there's a tag called Halloween, and you sent me that girl kind of just knitting yes. and with a black cat. Uh, I just so homey, and I had I, my hope in each year already. <laughs> yay! Yeah, I thought of you for that one because it wasn't scary. <laughs> yes, if you have gotten me the other one, which is a martini with an eyeball in it, I was like, <laughs> no. <laughs> but I remember from you guys' Leather Press Express subscription yes. a year ago, you guys made this really cool Leather Press prints. I don't know if it's from you guys. Maybe it's from another brand called Supreme, but it's these Supreme. disgusting bugs. So oh no, no. Whole- so that's Ron. That's that's, that's a hat Ron, with glove. Of course. Yes. Of course oh my god. So head. the ear, the ew earwigs card is yes. new. And I told him I hate this, and he was like, "That's what I'm going for." It's disgusting, <laughs> like, and there's I other. Hate it so it's, much. it's just giant ear like. Weird earwigs bugs. those bugs that are so like, disgusting letter pressed onto paper with like <laughs> two colors and and so in the same series there were there are murder hornets yeah spiders <laughs> that one's really disgusting there's oh, a yeah, snake like one that. too that i'm like not i'm like trying to not see <laughs> i like the, the sh- sharks though the shark They're is cute, cute. But the, I remember getting that sp- spider one, and I like want to throw it away. Like, <laughs> but I, if, that, if that's what Ron is going for, I mean, oh yeah, it totally is. It that's... worked. <laughs> <laughs> like send that to your worst enemy, I guess. Happy Halloween, like, Ron. I don't like the earwigs. <laughs> Please don't but make did, me look. Did you guys do that? Uh, <laughs> that that death one though the one that's black with like the, yeah. the one that says i've come for your house plants <laughs> yeah. Like the... yeah with the scythe and everything yeah yes. i i do really like that one that one's really cute oh yeah that's a <laughs> hat with glove original as well yeah so more of that and less of the bucks please <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly oh, oh my goodness so yeah check check those out i think i think i usually don't go exploring or hunting for Halloween stationery just because I don't want to like accidentally see something that really creeps me out. <laughs> so this season, like I hate all the jump scare ads on all like video <laughs> streaming platforms. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> There's this one that's like the exorcist related thing. And it's, like, yeah. Horrible. And so there, I, I, I've been scarred twice so far this week. <laughs> oh, um, poor April. So I'm just waiting really for the end of October to be over. <laughs> That's so ne- so next episode, let's jump in with something really fall-y instead of Halloween-y. That, okay, that's fine. Let's do that. Because that, be it will over. be early, it'll be early or mid-November by then, or early November yeah. by then. So. Because are we talking about this now that we're doing every other week? I guess we yes. mentioned that already. Every other week on Wednesdays, and if we are presentable, it will also be on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> I'm presentable today, okay? Uh, okay. <laughs> Some days you're just very tired and you have a long drive from work, so. <laughs> but I don't now, and it's so good. Isn't that great? Oh, man, that's, it's so That's your awesome. little life update, right? Like, Kelly, where are you now? I, I am now in Portland, Oregon, uh, which is also Officially. where I work. <laughs> I used to always say, oh, Kelly's in Oregon. She's in Portland. But no, she's but actually yeah. in like Seattle. Oh, no, not Seattle. Washington. <laughs> yeah, I was not. So, but so, somewhere also, in also another little update. My um, my mom is sort of near this uh, fire that's happening. Oh. Um, but thankfully, like the evacuation zones like shrunk. So oh. they've they're sort of getting a handle on the fire. But it's been over a week now and it's just really sad because really stressful too i bet 
Yeah, and it smells like smoke outside, and it's like, yay, apocalypse again. <laughs> I know it's been so smoggy and smoky yeah. in Seattle as well. But here's here's my other question with your new yeah. accommodation. Are we no longer getting Maya content anymore? Uh, no, of course we are. My mom still sends me stuff. She sends like, me pictures and videos. Thank goodness we won't have Maya jumping on your ink bottles. <laughs> I know, well, now, now I live with two boy cats, and they're <laughs> they're both very sweet, but um, like they love to hang out on my bed when I'm not in the room. <laughs> so, so I come home from work, I'm like, oh hi, and then they leave. <laughs> I'm like, no, I want to pet you. So they're they're still warming up to me. <laughs> it's okay. In time, we will potentially have two cat kind of special guests. Yeah, in this scene. they're very sweet. Nice. <laughs> Awesome. So I think that concludes our our second comeback episode for the Stationery Yay. Cafe. Exciting. Yay. And we will uh, be back with fun stationery content every other week, so not next week. <laughs> so I'll see you next next week, Kelly. <laughs> yes. Okay. Bye, April. Bye, Kelly.